How's everyone doing? Welcome. Five minutes of faith and fitness. Everyone, we're going to take a look at God's word, see what we can do with applying it physically and spiritually to serve not self, but to serve others. And um, I love God's word, how it applies so great. But I want to tell you about this football coach. This football coach had this, this winning team, but they they met their match in the final game of a state championship. It was a high school team, and they lost the game. They get into the locker room, coaches giving them the speech, and then he, at the end, he holds up a up the football. He goes, team, this is a football. It is time for us to get back to the basics. See, they they were on the winning team and, and they kind of cruised through and got to the final game, but they got their eyes off of the basics of the game, the basics of the training and the disciplines. And I think in so many times in our life, we can get off performing the common uncommonly well. That's what the uncommon human's about, right? Not doing, not doing what the rest of the world is doing, not being blended in we're called to be set apart so what does that look like in our life and so i love the story of the blind man um man he made things so simple jesus made it so simple for him but without even thinking he went he he he, he applied he, he was obedient to everything that the lord was saying let's pick it up in john 9 look what it says here Verses six and seven, it says, when he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with his saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated sent. So he went and washed and came back seen. Wow. Would you have gone? Here you are, you're blind at birth. You're getting ridiculed. People are talking about you here and there. And, and all you do is have your ears. You have your sense of your smell. But you can't see. You haven't seen anything in life. You don't have an idea of what colors look like. I mean, just think of this. Here is, a, uh, a, a, and, and, and he's posted up. This beggar, he's just posted up at, at his post to, to, to get his livelihood of, of asking for donations and things that he can survive on. And, and here comes a man. Spits on the ground, puts clay in his eyes. Go wash in the pool of Siloam. And he got up and went. Would you have done it? We say, yeah, because the end result was he was able to see. But so many times God instructs us in the little things that we don't go do. Not, and, and we're not even thinking about, well, sometimes we overthink the things that we can lose out on if things don't happen, if this doesn't, this doesn't happen, this doesn't, this. And so we overthink it. He got hit up, took his belongings. He went, he washed at the pool of Siloam, came back seeing. Imagine the feeling of now seeing. Huh, never seen in his life. But he went. He was obedient. Are we being obedient to what God is telling us to do? He said, go. You know, the Bible talks about go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, right? Go. It's e so easy to stay. The world wants us to be comfortable with the comfortable. <laughs> and God wants us to get comfortable with the uncomfortable because that's how we grow. He made a, a point later on. Yeah, Jesus was ridiculed of this, right? This blind man walking around, and and, and now he's, he's pointing to Jesus, that, that that guy, you know? I don't know who he is, but he, he, he I was once blind, but now I see. He's telling, he's telling the, 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 the Pharisees this. He's telling these guys this. He gets kicked out of the synagogue. <laughs> but it didn't matter. It didn't matter what happened because he told them the truth. He stood up for truth and it didn't matter his livelihood. It didn't matter if he was ever around these people again. His, his parents now 
compromised. Hmm. Compromise. I don't know. He's of age. Go ask him. <laughs> Go ask him if he's age. They know. They know what happened. He was blind at birth. Come on. This is your son. Stick up for him. Wow. They were asked the same question. We were asked the same question. Do you believe? Are you going to go? Are you going to stand up for what God's word is telling you to do? Even when it doesn't make sense. Even when the odds are against you. Even when you may lose your job. Even when dot, dot, dot. Just think. The things are coming. They're already here. If we don't stand up and be an ambassador of Jesus, then we, what do we have? Is it worth dying for? Absolutely. Because look, this life is just a vapor. Think about what God's word says and where we're going to spend eternity. The blind man knew when he was touched by Jesus. When you're touched by Jesus, your life changes. And it doesn't matter. So many of us have been touched by Jesus, but then we we, we fall off and we go and, and we, we understand our, oh, we, we try to understand life under a different lens, which makes sense for this temporal world and it gets us in trouble. And so we, we our, our, our vision becomes not 2020, it becomes very, very dim and foggy, almost the being blind again, right? And so, what an amazing story in the Bible, an encounter of, of understanding what Jesus, I mean, this is not his first rodeo, right? <laughs> he, he does these things, and here's what he did. He did it on the Sabbath. <laughs> you, weren't able, you weren't supposed to do anything on the Sabbath, right? He was strike one, strike two, strike. He was kneading the clay. That's work. <laughs> he, he told the person to go. That's work. <laughs> you know, he, he did these things just to tell him, like, it doesn't matter. I mean, we, when, when someone's hurting, they need to hear God's truth. It doesn't matter what day it is, right? And, and they were, the, the, the Pharisees were so trapped in the religious rules and, and, and laws that they missed the truth right in front of them. Are you missing the truth that's right in front of you? You're trying to, to build this kingdom up right here. And God's showing you the simplicity of go, go wash. In the pool asylum, come back and you'll see what's he telling you to go do right now. Be obedient because obedience is better than sacrifice. Hmm. Chew on that. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Be obedient to the call God is telling you, even when it doesn't make sense. That's acting in faith. Not playing out every scenario, making sure it favors you, and then saying, I trust you, God. No, if he says, do this, go do it. Don't worry about how it's going to end. Because if he's called you to it, he's going to be faithful to complete it. Do you believe that? I do. I do. I see it all the time. I see it all the time in my life and others' lives. God is faithful. He is faithful. Where God guides, he provides. God bless everyone.